What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. All right, so Zion Williamson has come out and spoke publicly on some level about his... I guess his dieting and his weight. Now, I haven't watched the the, the video or heard the sound bite, but I got it right here. So let's let's take a listen and uh, see what we got to say about it. Is it hard to diet at your age? Uh, she's be honest. Since it's you, I'll be real. Uh, there are times when I will say that man, that shit hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard, man. Like you, twenty, twenty two. Got a lot of money. All the, it feels like all the money in the world, man. It, it is hard, but uh, I'm at that point now where because of certain things, I'm putting back like the wisdom around me. A bunch mm -hmm. of like I don't want to say older because they take offense <laughs> to it. But, <laughs> and I'm just putting people around me with wisdom, put me on game to certain things, and just go from there. Though. Yeah. Oh man. First of all, talking about. Since it's you, uh, I'm gonna just be real. I'm gonna keep it real. I'll just keep it real with anybody, man. What's the, what does that have to do with Gilbert Arenas? I guess this is Gilbert's show or podcast or something. I don't know. I, I don't really watch him. Not a big Gilbert Arenas fan. Uh, but uh, I don't. I, 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 I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. You know, for most people that aren't professional athletes, and they say. Dieting is hard for a lot of different reasons. I'll be like, I don't know, I understand. I do. And for some people, they just need somebody, in, as far as like maybe going to the gym, right? They just need people to push them a little bit, help motivate them. That's why uh, maybe give them some guidance until they find it within themselves for self-motivation. And even dieting somewhat uh, to a lesser degree. Okay? But if you are an NBA player, a pro athlete, this should not be difficult for you considering all the resources you have. You always have somebody, team trainers, personal trainers, personal cooks, dietitians, strength and training experts, all this kinds of resources that are either given to you or you have the money, well, well over enough money to pay for your own uh, private resources and personnel where all they do is write up the agenda, ask you the questions, lay everything out for you, and they show up to train with you and coach you. For some people, having that is over half the battle. And as a pro athlete, you have that. What is the problem, Zion Williamson? And if you tell me you're not utilizing any of those resources, or you don't have those resources, well, that's because you don't want it. <laughs> if, if you're not utilizing this, you don't want it. You don't. You don't. And just looking at him now in this video, I mean, I know he, he has a shirt on, but he, I don't, I don't mind the bulk. I mean, the, his strength and his size and his bulk makes him the player he is and the effective player he is. Um, but that right there, that doesn't look like a healthy bulk to me. And he has a shirt on, but I'm just looking at his, his body figure, the shirt for, for a basketball player, for a basketball player. That doesn't look like a healthy bulk, man. I used to be, I used to do powerlifting, like hardcore powerlifting, like competitive. And I had a bulk. And I admit, I wish my bulk had, had a better body to fat ratio. But it was a lot of muscle, and it was more fat than I would have liked. I was strong as strong as an ox, but I didn't like how my body looked. I didn't like how much body fat I had. He kind of looking like I did. I was looking. 
back in my power powerlifting prime. And I can tell you what, I was not the same basketball player when I tried to get out on the court after putting on all that weight from powerlifting. I was top heavy, and it's one reason why I started having knee problems. One reason why I started having knee problems was trying to get out there and play basketball too top heavy. I mean, I don't understand what your excuse is for why this is so difficult. It just tells me you lack the willpower and you lack the discipline. You don't have the discipline if this is so problematic for you despite being around or being a pro athlete and having all these goddamn resources and money at your exposure where you can have people do all the hard stuff for you. All you got to do is show up and do the work. What, what, what's the problem here, Zion? But I just want to eat everything in the world. And I mean everything in the world. And I understand, listen, my family roots is from New Orleans, man. I know how good the food is in New Orleans. I put on like 15 pounds on my vacation in New Orleans. I'm well aware. The po' boys, the beignets, the gumbo, the crawfish, all that stuff. The shrimp, all that stuff. The andouille sausages, the hot sausages. I know about New Orleans cuisine, but still, you have resources, and you lack discipline. That's what that tells me. You want to eat everything in the sun, boy. Eat the po' boys, eat the gumbo, eat the sausage, eat the booty. Yeah, we know you like eating the booty. And I ain't kink shaming, not at all. Do your thing. But I'm just saying, you like to eat everything. And I believe at this point there is nothing that somebody could, there, there is anything that somebody could put on a plate and Zion Williamson won't stuff his face in it. Golly. Oof. And then he say, I'm you know putting the people around me with the wisdom, the wisdom. Maybe some people do. Some people do need people with wisdom in their lives because for whatever reason they just. They can't get it together in some aspects of life. They just they just can't get it together. But when I'm just looking at simple dieting and training and athletic training, people with the wisdom are the professionals. As far as that goes. So what is the problem? Because I know you have access to all that stuff. Now, if you're talking about bringing people around you with wisdom that can handle the situation with all the women and the temptations that come with being a pro basketball player. Yeah, you, you probably need that. You probably need that. And I'm sure these people that can give you advice on how to traverse and how to travel down these avenues, um, I'm sure they can maybe give you some kind of advice for you know health and fitness and dieting. But golly, Zion, really... Really, and I love his game. I love his game, man. I I am a was rooting for Zion. I love players that play big. I love players that play strong. That get in the paint. That bully. That ain't afraid to contact. That ain't gonna uh, be succumbed to shooting three pointers all day. Taking advantage of his size, or or even taking advantage of other people's size. I love it. I love his game. Bull, bully these, these small ball lineups. Push them around. Hurt them. Absolutely. But golly, man. I, I'm starting to lose faith in this guy between his health. And I think his health also has to do with his decision making and lack of discipline. And I, I want to see him out there, but I'm starting to lose faith in him. And I'm starting to like let go and be like, I, I just I don't think it'll ever amount to anything. I don't think he'll ever get it together. No, I could be wrong. But man, he's wasted so many precious years of his career so early on. Because when he gets out on the court, he could when he gets out on the court and he can play and he's healthy, he is a beast. A monster. And it comes easy to him. It wasn't the guy averaging like what, 24, 25 plus points, something like that, on like a stupid high field goal percentage, because he just does what he wants in the paint. 
rebounds. The dude can really pass the ball as well. His passing is underrated. But if you can't stay on the floor, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. It gets to the point. I can only root for somebody for so long before I come to the conclusion that you are your own road roadblock and you can't figure that out. You are your own demon and I don't feel like you're doing everything in your willpower to exercise your demons. And then at that point, I was like, it's hard for me to root for you anymore, man. It is. It is. We'll see, we'll see what happens next season. I'm getting tired of him. And it hurts me to say that because I really love his game. And I and we all know his Pelicans teammates were extremely disappointed in him last season, especially later in the season going into the playoffs. When he publicly said that he, health-wise, he is perfectly fine, he just won't play because he doesn't feel like Zion anymore, citing mental health, basically. And your team out here needing you. Not only do they need you, but when you are healthy and on the team, you are one of the better teams in the league, let alone the Western Conference. Y'all were killing the Western Conference when you were healthy, at the top of the standings. But the minute you went out and Brandon Ingram was in and out too, it was all bad. But even when Ingram was out and you were playing, you were still leading the team. Some people just don't want it, man. I, I don't know. Anyway, y'all let me think. Y'all let me know what you think about it. Am I out of pocket here? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or maybe you bring up some good points that I didn't mention. Please share with me. I would love to hear your opinion. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and I catch you on the next one. We out, baby.